Hi everyone, this is Truculent. This is a little uh, proof of concept machine I built. It's basically a way to convert Minecraft jewels into energy units, EUs, at around 2 to 1 ratio as opposed to the 1 to 1 ratio you'd get by using magma crucibles to make lava. So the heart of the operation is this machine here, the industrial electrolyzer. And what it's going to do is we're going to be turning saltpeter into, find the recipe here for you, turning saltpeter into potassium, nitrogen, and compressed air. What we really care about is this nitrogen cell, two nitrogen cells from 10 saltpeter. Those nitrogen cells go into this gas turbine from Greg Tech, and they make 60,000 EUs each, so 120,000 EUs. The net gain, because we have some, you know, we have uh, extractors here, and we have the electrolyzer, which is using up a little EUs itself. The net gain is 110,500 EUs. Now, to make this saltpeter, we have a little infinite loop going up here, which is we're pulverizing sandstone, oops, pulverizing sandstone into two sand and a 10% chance of niter. So every 10 sandstone we crush up, we get one niter, and one niter will then be pulverized into two, oh, I can't find it, yeah, two salt beater. So we need to do this five times. So basically we need 50 sandstone, and to make 50 sandstone, because we're generating the extra sand from pulverizing cobble, because we get, you know, we pulverize sandstone, we get two sand back, we need four sand to craft it. So we have to pulverize two cobble for every sandstone. So we we pay 48,800 Minecraft Joules per 110,500 EUs that we get out of the gas turbine back here. So that's a better than 2 to 1 ratio um, gain from those. Uh, so we just have some red power logic here. We have this buildcraft pipe with a gate on it to do an energy pulser from the auto crafting table to make the sandstone and then the rest is up here is just thermal expansion machines. Those are pretty easy to wire up. From the electrolyzer we use a sorting machine to pull out the cells okay, and those go into the machines. We put the nitrogen cell in the turbine and then we just use an extractor to get rid of the compressed air and potassium cells because we don't care at all for those. And then down here we have an MFE uh, you need to use an MFE or an MV transformer to power the electrolyzer because it needs, as it'll say on the recipe here, 110 EUs per tick. And the turbine puts out less than that by itself. So you can't use, I don't think you can use a bat box. You need to step it up to MV power to power this electrolyzer. Otherwise, these, you know, these sorting machines just pull the empty cells out using this new, uh, I guess, round robin mode we call it, and put them back in the bottom of the electrolyzer. So on the electrolyzer, empty cells go in the bottom, uh, the raw ingredients go in the top, and then the output is from the sides. So I have a sorting machine here. Uh, you know, these sorting machines feed the cells back into the bottom, and then the pulverizer just feeds directly into the top. So that's that's pretty pretty easy. Looks like my redstone cell is almost empty. Make a new one, but it doesn't matter. So yeah, I'm just using a, a redstone energy cell to power this. You need to hook it up to some kind of Minecraft jewels. Um, yep, that's pretty much it. The other important thing is this void pipe because when you pulverize cobble, you will get gravel. So I just have the gravel output going to yellow, which goes directly to a void pipe to just throw it away because we don't want it to get filled up and get jammed. And then mag or igneous extruders to make cobblestone. I mean, this is pretty simple stuff. So really just a proof of concept. Our limiting rate right now is the gas turbine. Things will just get backed up there because it generates at a pretty slow rate. Um, yeah, I, will, I haven't done the math yet to see exactly how many gas turbines you would need to process the output, but I can probably do that and put it into the comments. So there it is, guys. Just a neat little machine. It's not super practical, but it does give you a better rate of return than melting cobblestone to make lava. So if you want something a little more complex, a little cooler looking, I think it looks pretty cool, 
you can build something like this. There you go. Any questions, comments, let me know. See ya.